If the oil does not contain water or impurities, it may go directly from the separator to the stock tank or pipeline. However, in many oil fields, after initial separation, the oil must still be treated to remove water, salt, or contaminants. If the water and the produced oil settle out freely because of density differences, a free water knockout can be used to separate the two. A free water knockout is a simple separation vessel located along the flow stream, in some cases upstream of the separator, where the oil and water mixture is allowed sufficient time to separate. A more difficult separation problem arises when the oil and water are produced as an emulsion. We may break the emulsion and thereby separate the oil from the water by adding chemicals, by heating the emulsion, or by causing an electric charge to pass through the emulsion. Treating vessels utilizing more than one treating process to attack particularly stable or tight emulsions are common. Another possible crude contaminant is salt. Even after separation and treatment, most produced oils still contain small amounts of emulsified water with dissolved salt. Salty crude may cause severe problems during refining. In such cases, the crude must be desalted. The procedure is relatively simple. The crude oil is first separated, and the remaining salty oil is mixed through a nozzle with fresh water. The mixing of the fresh and salty water in the oil forms a new emulsion, which can be separated from the oil carrying the salt along with it. In areas such as the Middle East, where enormous volumes of oil are produced and prepared for transportation on a daily basis, a crude stabilizer may be part of the oil treatment process. Crude stabilizers, in these cases, separate the more volatile fluids remaining in the oil after normal separation. This ensures that the oil is suitable for storage and transportation and that vapors from the storage tanks are not lost.